Chosen seventh overall by the Vancouver Canucks, Quinn Hughes etched his name onto the score sheet for the first time against the divisional rival Los Angeles Kings. Quarterbacking the power play like a seasoned veteran, Hughes unleashed a rocket of a shot that found the top corner, igniting the crowd and fueling the Canucks' fiery 8-2 triumph. This is your moment. Capture your first NHL goal with this dynamic blue liner. Rosters are set, the puck is ready to be dropped, it's a hockey ultimate team challenge, and we are ready. The Canucks start things off on the right note by winning the opening draw. Back to the blue line, levels them with the hit, knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. The Kings pick up steam and are on the attack, and then a pass goes off a stick. The Kings scoop it up along the boards. Answer the call on that play. As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot. What a hit against the wall there. Right up the gun into the attacking zone. Delayed penalty coming up here by the official. And he sprints to the bench to get the extra attacker out on the ice. Hughes can use his zone ability to help this unit be effective here with the advantage. Let's see if he can light the lamp. Kopitar is getting called for two minutes here by the officials. Pedersen's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. And it's turned aside by Quick. The Canucks play near the point. And he loses control here. Perfectly, James. I mean, he can't maneuver. He's got nowhere to go. He's lined up, and then he's taken down. With the stop. Solid hit on the play. The Kings gain possession of the defensive zone. Oh, what a hit. He got all of that hip check. To the front. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Quick. The goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. Pedersen's at the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. Vancouver's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. Quick pass to Hughes. play based on where the puck is on that low inner spot and he makes himself big takes away the holes and makes the save time of the essence here yeah they can't skate it they gotta move it to be able to gain entry quickly the kings have it in the offensive end oh what a stop with the paddle that's a fantastic save by the goaltender but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice those high danger scoring chances eventually go in kopitar is up and ready to get back on the ice and he takes the pass. The Canucks wanted to put a lot of pucks on net going into this one, and they have delivered on that, leading late in the first. The Kings pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. A little bumping around, but still maintains possession. And he can't hang on after that hit. Hughes crosses the line and is on the attack. in the books. Let's grab a breather and we'll come back with period number two in moments. Second period set to get underway. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. 
Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment? The Canucks are playing hard tonight, in particular in the offensive zone. They've got that shot mentality. They're driving and attacking the net. Picked up along the wall by Kopitar. Vancouver's gained possession along the boards. Miller's got it in the defensive end. From the blue line, takes the shot. Handles the puck at the point. And that caroms off a body in traffic. Moves it around along the half wall. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Moves it to Hughes. Puck scooped up by Brown. And he takes the feed. Grabbed in the open ice by Pedersen. The Kings gain possession along the wall. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Rocks him. The Kings have it against the wall. Quick pass to Brown. Pass to the front. Oh, and he just puts it wide of the net. There's so many moving parts in the game of hockey, which is why it's one of the most difficult sports in the world. And he gets to that prime time scoring area. You don't get that too often. And he just sails it and misses the net. Along the half wall with the puck. Shot! Oh, that's a huge stop by Quick! The Canucks continue to lead here in the late stages of this second period. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. Stops him with the glove! There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. In the final moments of this period, Vancouver's up one zip. Setter's jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. Oh, just goes off his glove, and it stays out. The Kings move it in. Oh, and he throws a perfectly executed hip check there. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Fires it. Great stop by Quick. As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible, and that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. Less than a minute to go here in the second. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. Oh, he stopped it! What a save on the play! And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way to make that save incredible, James. The Kings are on the attack. Puts it on net! Great glove save by Markstrom! Slides the puck over. Takes the shot. And that caroms off a body in the lane. The Kings have it now. From off the wall and onto a stick. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. Denies it in front. Vancouver's got the puck at the defensive end. Great. And with that, two periods now in the books. Been a great night of hockey here on EA Sports, and we got the third period coming at you in moments. Period number three just moments away as the official signals both teams into position. Final frame is underway here. Well, two periods down. Here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. The Kings haven't had any possession time, James, and as a result, they haven't created any offense. Their opponent has really taken it to them, really worn them down, put them on their heels, and they spend a lot of time in their own zone. Vancouver's been putting lots of pucks on net all night long, and they continue to lead late in this third period. Pedersen's won the draw here in the offensive zone. period. The Canucks have recently taken a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. And off the draw at center, they take control of the puck. And a strong physical collision on the play there. Quick feed to Brown. Oh, what a hip shake of the old school variety. Beautiful. Vancouver's through center and now in the offensive end. Wide of the net. The Kings gain possession. Passes it over to Kopitar. With possession along the wall. 
Vancouver's got control of it now from their own end. Hughes explores his options behind the net. The Kings will play it from the defensive zone. Picked up along the boards by Doughty. There's another hit, and you get a sense that this was a game plan to go after him tonight here, Cheryl. Well, he certainly has a bullseye or target on his back, James. You then take the penalty, you might as well take your opponent with you as they both march to the box. A little more room out there with a little four-on-four. On a four-on-four, four, you can expect all players on the ice when you're possessing the puck to activate. You have to be able to support the puck carrier, and if you're a defender, you know you're jumping into a lane going north. Play ready to resume as everybody lines in for the face-off. Kopitar has won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Gain momentum up along the side. Perfectly executed hip check there. Moves the puck over to Ayafalo. Moves it to the middle. And that's stopped. Here's a short pass to Ayafalo. Another stop by the goaltender. Just fantastic work by the goaltender, making consecutive saves. How athletic.